Hey, good evening, my friend. I feel amazing. I had a really fantastic afternoon. More exactly, I had a late, amazing late afternoon and an evening with my parents. My mom today brought up the idea of getting a new car again. Yeah, she's been thinking to get a new car for herself so she can just be mobile, mobilized independently. Um, however, I just told her this. If you are serious about getting a car, you might as well just get a good one, like a Tesla. She's trying to get an electrical car, considering we already got two fuel cars in the house, and she just wanted to get an ele uh, electrical car to just uh, bring the cost down. And uh, she's looking at uh, the BYD, which is one of the largest uh, electrical car companies in China. They have nice cars, but uh, the model my mom looked at and considered to buy was a quite low one. And it only cost um, 60 grand, which is really not a lot. And people all know the car based on the looks and just the model they can tell what kind of car is this and my mom is a is a business woman and i just suggest her to level up because she has been in this industry for almost 30 years and she wants to you know reach and meet clients with a bigger profile and how she package herself, how she um, carry herself around. I'm not sure if that's the right expression, but like she got to be making those choices that not necessarily save money. You know, if you drive a Porsche or even a better car, it's, it's more likely that people will just consider you, a, you know, a high end businesswoman. Right, if you're driving like a beat up second hand car, nobody will take you for serious. That's the simple rule in the sales industry. You gotta just present yourself professionally, and sometimes professionally means bourgeoisie. Okay, that's why people like wear Rolex or drive Maserati, you know, wear business um, occasion suit. Yeah, it's the same idea. Anyway, it's a really engaging conversation because that's just really the starting topic for us. And I have told them, I have given them pretty much a lecture, uh, although it was um, a conversation, but I have um, told them many great lessons, you know. Although I am very young, but I think I know so much that they have ignored um, for many years. They have been operating in the same belief system, um, which limited them. Um, I don't want to see them being limited because in my eyes, my mom has already gotten all these amazing cards in her hands. She got to just play it well. It's all about how you play it, right? She got everything she needs, right? To do much bigger business, yeah. Yeah, so it's a um, very necessary family talk. I've emphasized that we are a team, you know? Our family, three of us are a team. We have to help each other and support each other and hype each other up instead of bring us bring each other down right drag each other down we can't do that we have to hype each other up um might as well just get a big you know like if you like donald trump post it <laughs> how does he put it again um you have to think might as well think big i'd like to always think big yeah, I...
couldn't agree with this philosophy more. This is how it works in this world. If you dream big, you will eventually get what you want. If you don't even have a dream, if you have a very low reaching, you know, high, low hanging fruits, just get those easy stuff and stay in your comfort zone, then you, will net, you never end up getting more than what you wanted, right? If you wanted 100, then you're not going to get 120, right? If you want a 200, then you very likely will end up getting 150. That's the basic rule. You have to set stretchy goals. Yeah. All right. That's a blessing. That's a blessing day. That's a blessing talk. Um, besides, I was going to get a massage this afternoon, but my mom called me. She wants me to drive her somewhere, so I just canceled um, immediately and go went went to pick her up and um, yeah it's a very meaningful day um, I also read a lot I read the 12 rules for life by Jordan Peterson I couldn't love that book more man the more I read it the more I realized this is a fantastic r read it's it's a book for everybody you know you have to understand so many lessons from this book so many great rules whether you like Jordan Peterson or whether you disagree with him or not, I get so much positive things from reading his book. I love him, you know. Maybe I shouldn't even say I love him. I love what he wrote in the book. I love what I got from the book. You know, I love what I learned from him. Yeah, that's all that matters. All right. I also wrote a journals as well, lots of journals today. Um, I feel so good, man. I also uploaded lots of videos on both YouTube and Bilibili. It's an amazing day, I must say. Today is June 12th, 2024. Thank you for everything. Yeah, now I'm gonna stop my meditation. See you in the next video.